Hey folks, the point of this lesson is for you to be able to recognize whether an ODE is linear or nonlinear, and also uh, to kind of understand the significance of what it means for an ODE to be linear. So let's start out with the definition. Uh, an ODE is linear uh, if its dependent variable and all the derivatives appear to the first power, if at all. And another way of saying that is that anything uh, involving the dependent variable appears only as a linear monomial. So to do some examples, uh, here we have y prime equals y. Uh, that's linear because we have these different added terms that just involve something with the dependent variable to the first power. Uh, here we have uh, x squared y prime equals y. That's linear for the same reason. Uh, the x squared doesn't make it nonlinear because x is the independent variable. Uh, here we have x squared y prime equals y squared. That's nonlinear because the y being squared causes it to be uh, not a linear monomial involving the uh, dependent variable. So that's a nonlinear equation. Here we have y double prime plus y equals sine x. Although sine x is a nonlinear function, it's a nonlinear function of the independent variable. So if we look at this stuff involving the dependent variable, it's still linear. And then finally, y double prime plus sine y equals zero. That's a nonlinear equation because sine is a nonlinear function of the dependent variable. Now, the important thing to understand about what it why it matters uh, if uh, an equation is linear is that linear equations have a superposition principle. Okay? This means that any linear combination of solutions is also a solution. And this is really important and really fundamental. So what that means mathematically, for example, is that if y1 and y2 are solutions to a linear differential equation, then c1y1 plus c2y2, a general linear combination, is as well. And we'd like to uh, kind of build up our intuition by showing this for a specific equation. So let's take this one here. We've got y double prime plus y prime plus x squared y equals zero. That's linear. And I'm going to assume that I have two solutions, y1 and y2. And if y1 and y2 are both solutions, it means they each satisfy the equation, right? So uh, over here we have uh, y1 double prime plus y1 prime plus x squared y1 equals zero. And since y2 is a solution, we have over here uh, y2 double prime plus y2 prime plus x squared y2 equals zero. And now we're going to ask, is this linear combination also a solution? And the way we find out is we take that candidate solution, plug it into the original equation, and see if it satisfies the original equation. So that whole solution, double prime, plus that whole solution prime, plus x squared times that whole solution, does that equal zero, hence satisfying the original equation. And what we're going to do is just collect things by their subscripts. So if I collect all the terms with y1 in them, I get c1 times y1 double prime plus y1 prime plus x squared y1. And then similarly over here, I collect all the terms with y2, and each term in parentheses turns out to be equal to zero uh, exactly because we assumed it was originally a solution, right? So this quantity over here is zero because of our assumption up here. And similarly, this quantity here is zero because of our assumption up here. Therefore, the whole thing indeed equals zero and the linear combination is a solution. Um, we can quickly show that this doesn't work for a nonlinear equation. So take y prime plus y squared equals zero, and take two solutions, y1 prime plus y1 squared equals zero, y2 prime plus y2 squared equals zero, and now plug in the linear combination. Does c1y1 plus c2y2 prime plus c1y1 plus c2y2 squared equals zero? And if you expand, there's no way you can collect these terms whereby you can use the original uh, information to show that this is a solution. So no superposition here. All right. Thanks for listening.